Yo, yo, man, yo, 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 man, yo, fuck with you, boy, you fan double seven, nigga, man, shout out to you, fan movement, nigga, what up, nigga, you good? Yo, I'm back with the guest. We got the bar guard on. We got Danny Myers. Danny, what's good? What's good? What's good? Nah, shit. Hey, what up, bro? This is me, man. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I was going to say, it's me, DMV, and then uh, a homie from the Facebook group. Like, yo, what's up, man? You ready, man? Fuck the bullshit, yo. Are you ready? Are you ready? (laughs) Man, Caps, you already know me, man. Like, I stay ready, so I ain't got to get ready. Danny, I'm going to tell you how I feel, man. It's 2017. It's 2017. I yep. feel like all the work you put in, I feel like all the classics you gave us, right? Just, it was all to lead to here. You here now. Oh, yeah, I'm here to stay, too. Yeah, it, it's, it's time. Yeah, this is definitely the year, man. All the oh, doubt, man. all the hate, all of the questions and this and that and the ranks and the 12K and it. It, the Danny style don't translate in New York and New York don't fuck with that. All that shit, every all that shit in the end on Saturday. Okay. Okay. Everything. I'm, I'm, I'm just making sure, man, because like yo, niggas been back in for mad long. Cause we right, know, right. Cause because because we know how nice you are, we know how you give a fuck about battle rap, how dedicated you are to this shit. So yeah, appreciate. Like, it. I feel like lo and behold, it's just like yo, like you that nigga, fuck all the hate. When it comes to watching a good battle, we already we know you gonna give it to us. Absolutely. No question. Niggas, niggas never question whether, whether Danny was going to come with three rounds and was he, you know, going to bullshit or complain about anything. Like, I always just came and did my work, man, and just let the fans have it, you know? But at so, the same I, motherfucking time, if your ass loses teams, hey, bro, I, can't, I don't know. Stop man. it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Who, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? I just got to be honest, Danny. If you lose man, teams, hey, and, so hey, and I, mad, and listen. I would deserve that, but look, I'm a, I'm coming for the knockout, the first round knockout, first round knockout. knockout, yeah, first round knockout, first round knockout. I'm gonna tell you why. Anytime somebody come to Vegas and fight Floyd, they can't let me get to the scorecards because it's always gonna go to Floyd. Okay. Okay. Fighting a champion, you gotta beat, you gotta knock the champion out. Cause if, if it's too close, Floyd gonna get the call every time. Either I'm driving through mountains and shit, so it, it's kind of like. Oh, you driving? Okay. Well, Danny. Yeah, yeah, my fault. I'm driving through the mountains and shit, so my my service is kind of like going in and out. Oh shit! All right, you good? But but, but like I was saying, I'm going for the first round knockout, man, because you know I, I can't let it get to the bottom of the third, and me and Steam just looking debatable because cause, cause it's too easy for somebody to say Steam won. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. It, it can't it can't look debatable. At I mean, but there there are things outside of my control, such as he's at home. You feel me? He's at home. He's got the whole we go hard there. So any little decent thing he say, they probably going to super gas it or, or whatnot because that's what they do. Uh-huh. But uh, I'm not going to let that affect me. I'm just going to do my work. But I know on camera, definitely, it, it, it'll be a 3-0. 3-0. Mm-hmm. 3-0. I, I don't know fuck about Yeah, yeah, man. I can't let things get a fucking round, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I'm, so, I'm, like hey, I so said, that- if... if if we if if we leave the first round and he's and the battle ain't over after my first round, then I'm gonna be very disappointed in myself. The battle has to be over by the end of my first round. God damn. Okay. Talk I'm I'm coming it. for straight souls. Fuck blood. I don't want blood. Blood blood can dry up and get washed away. I want a soul. You can collect souls. Remember the Ghostbusters? How they used to collect the soul? <laughs> Yeah, I want his soul so I can keep it forever. Bro, this shit's about to be crazy. Hey, hey, DMV, how, how you yeah. doing that? For me, I, <laughs> we, did, we, just talked the, we just talked the other day, man. I'm, I'm going to say this, man. I told Danny, and I want you to answer this before, before I put my prediction out there. Cause I, I mean, people probably know I, I got you with him, but I'll I say how I got you with it in a minute. But before I do that, since this was pushed back twice, you know what I'm saying? It was supposed to happen. Last year, more more than that, like like five I times, bro. Five times pushed back. Yeah, 
So when we when, I, when we saw another day, I I think I said I think that's a distinct advantage for teams. I think you know you write quick. You know what I'm saying you get your mem- you get your stuff down pat. You know you probably can, you probably can do three rounds. You know what I'm saying in, in a week or two weeks. You know what I'm saying and got had a, the stuff all down pat. Themes, I'm sure, mm-hmm. has had the longest amount of time to write for a single individual. He know that you're nice, so he's gonna come well prepared. How does that go into your absolutely? Plan? You know Explain how does that go into your plan and now knowing it's been pushed back a couple times. How do you? you know, well, you well think about this. Think material? about this, brother. Hey, check me out, DMV. Go ahead. You gotta understand. Just as much time as he had, I had. So you just like you said, you can imagine what I could put together in that amount of time. You feel me? Okay. So okay, you gotta think about it, man. Like if you get things a week and you give me a week, come think about this, bro. We actually were supposed to born on, I mean, battle on Born Legacy three, but he he said he wasn't ready. I was ready. You gotta understand. I was ready. He wasn't ready. I remember. I remember. So okay. So, so me, he said, "Yo, let's do time, it on Born Legacy 4. I got you. I got you. So tell me, how much time did you have to write for B Dot before you know y'all put the contract down and you and y'all? Oh, we had a good time. And, we had we had about five months. We had about five okay. months, man. So you can see so, you see what I came up with for B Dot in five months. So that's what I'm gonna say. So, uh, if so my uh, imagine what so, I had. I, I've come up with for for Steams in in six. Uh, let's see, let's think. Like June, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Jan- Damn, yeah, we had a whole lot of time, and I've actually mm. used the time wisely, which I hope all the other battlers on the card did. Because when you got that much time, you got time to look at certain shit in your rounds. It might have been hot when you wrote it. But then when you look at it later, you can be like, oh, you know what? I was tripping. This shit whack. I could take this out and I'm going to add some shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I've, I was able to take out not that many bars, but I had some bars in there that it probably just wouldn't have hit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad that I, that we had this extra time because it also allowed me to change my strategy on him too. So, you know, okay. I got I got ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of offense as well as defense. Because right, so I'm not going to be like, just so offensive where it's it's just me bar 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 punch bar punch bar 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 bar. No, no, I've I've got a strategy and a defense built into to my shit. So it's going to be a, definitely a new Danny that y'all never seen. All right, and, all right, I, and all I'm going right. to say this: I, I rock I rock with teams. I rock with teams, but I, I'm a. With that being with, with Danny just put down, I'm going to say I'm going to agree with a thirty. Nobody bad because Steve's gonna come to fight, but I'm gonna say Danny will get all three rounds. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely feel like he gonna have, this is gonna be the best thing we ever saw. You know what I mean? But it, it's it's niggas always look different when they're in front of me, man. Like I pressure niggas, man. Like certain niggas just don't look like the killers they be looking like when they in front of other niggas. True. Okay. Damn. And 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 Steve Steve's a stumble prone. He stumbled upon. Like this is this is well known. So you gotta oh, imagine man. it's mm. like even though think about it, it's I don't think it would be a problem of him remembering his bar because he had a lot of time. So if he's if he's been smart, he's been memorizing his shit, so he's not gonna choke or stumble. But when a nigga pressuring you, that's another way somebody can choke or stumble. Is when they being uh intimidated. It's a psychological thing. You can choke from memory. You can choke from memory, or you can choke from pressure. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so I, I think this, like he, he could. I'm not saying he is, but there's there's there's, there's that possibility that he could mess up. And people gotta that, look at that too. Your shit is that crazy? You think that that he definitely might choke? Man, listen, man. Like I said, first round knockout, man. Okay. First round knockout. He gonna know. He gonna know that the battle is unwinnable. By by the end of my first, he gonna know he can't win. Well, this shit, mm. man. This that's shit. why I be saying. That's why I be saying. And even though he already on the ground with this shit, 
this Rack MC got another two rounds of this shit. So he gonna be thinking like, God damn, this was just this nigga first round? This okay. nigga first round was, was like this? And there's two more coming? That's crazy, you? Mm. You, you you got to understand certain situations. You just only thing you can do is just do the best you can and just let the tips fall where they may. I don't think. I mean, if you let Steve tell it, he gonna thirty me. You see what I'm saying? If you let him tell it, he gonna kill me. I mean, he's supposed to say that. You know what, Danny? But but I ain't been killed, man. You got to think about it. I ain't been killed by no nigga. Like if you can say I lost this battle or so and so edged me out. But y'all ain't never seen me die to no nigga. And I've been in there with JC and, and B Dot and and Chilla, Danger, Sway, Clips, Burr, Rex. I've been in there with niggas that be killing niggas. And I never died. So why is it that Stims of all those names is gonna be the one to kill me? Okay. Uh, why? why you had to say it like that? Why you had to, why you had to say it like that though? Nah, oh, man, because it just be disrespectful when I be seeing niggas like, oh, Steen's finna body Danny. Steen's on body. Like, nigga, I ain't never been body, first of all. I've never been body, so why is it going to happen now? Steen's for all people. Say your caps. If, y'all, if I was facing Luxor Hollow and y'all said I'm going to get body, you got more of a leg to stand on when you, when you say that. But when, you, when, you, when we're talking Steen's... Who I don't know, like you, you got the better with the E Nash, my nigga. Like it's not you. Yo, I thought that battle was dope, Danny. Steen's won. First of all, Steen's won, but it shouldn't have been to where niggas is saying E Ness won. I know yeah. fans got yeah. they 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 certain. Everybody days. said E Ness won that scene. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. That's what I'm saying, my nigga. So how 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 is it that the nigga who everybody got losing to Ness? Is gonna three o me, god damn, and that's not even no bar nigga. Mm. Caps, and that's okay. not even a lyrical nigga. So I just, I don't know. That that just be hate, man. That just be niggas just saying that to say that. Like I always say, you can think somebody gonna lose, and then you can want somebody to lose. Mm. That's the difference. Like you got different type of fans. You got fans that like calculate shit track minus and do the intangibles and really do the homework and then they'll come up with their prediction and why and then they can stand behind it. But then you got niggas that'll just say stupid shit like, oh, Sting's gonna body Danny. Why Sting's gonna body Danny? Because Sting's wanted more. Sting takes that nigga. That's why. Like, that's <laughs> not that's not fucking a plausible explanation. You know what I'm saying? That just You just want me to lose. <laughs> Hey, Danny, bump that. But it's not going to happen. I always say, right idea, wrong nigga. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> like, he might 30 his next nigga. You feel me? But not not this time, not Saturday. Saturday, he's getting 30. Okay, so, all right. So, so, so after this thing, who's next? Uh, I can't say. Well, it's a, it's a cave gang, nigga. Y'all, y'all, y'all mm. guess who it is. You know, I already got off the phone with mm. Mario. It's it's a cave, me and him. Me he know who it is. Me and him already mm. talking, but he might not he might announce it, but it's a cave gang, nigga. I told Ass. y'all this year mm. I'm taking out the whole cave. Was by myself. Ass? It it's a cave gang member. That's all I can say. All right, so you got it, 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 it's so it's only so many it could be. Yo, my nigga, you got Av? Yo. I didn't well, say that. I didn't say it was Av. I'm just saying it's a cage gang member. But did, didn't you battle YK? Come on. Yeah, I already battled YK, so it, it just leaves. Man. Hey. It's oh a cage gang member, yo, man. Yo, stop playing with me, bro. Oh, my. Yo, you know why I'm saying bridge? No, bro, for one, for one, I'm going to just say this. For one, that's who... I, I, me and him already spoke. We already agreed to it. It's, uh, so that's going down next. And then after that, it's a Team Homie member. So you got Briz next and then a Team Homie member. Let me think. Money back. Yeah. Damn, man. <laughs> Yo, I'm playing. Yo, you fucking crazy, man. <laughs> hey, let's oh. change the subject, man. Let's oh. change the subject, oh. man. Nah, we, yeah, we nah. I didn't. Play. Hey, first, look, first of all, I didn't. I didn't mm-hmm. say that. I didn't say you no name. You ain't yeah, I'm not confirming or denying. 
I'm just saying I got I got uh I got to like this. I got a cave gang member next and we're talking about me and a homie member for uh Born Lady mm. Yo, that yo, that would be um, yo, So you just gotta yo. you gotta figure out who the matchup is, but they'll announce it soon. I ain't gonna announce it. Man, fuck that yeah. shit. It got to be Briz and Bag because you want you you said that you wanted Briz for what he did to um <laughs> to Pat, number one. So I know it's Briz number one. Uh, but I also Rock. said I wanted Rock. I also listen. I also said I wanted Rock and Ab too. So yeah, I mean, you, my nigga, you're not getting Rock in the door. You're not. And then when I said Ab, you said I didn't say that. So it got to be Briz. And it make it Briz. Hey man, I could be wrong, but whatever. I just have a strong feeling it's Briz. And then my, the reason why I said money bag is because of the battle. It's a fire battle. That's why I'm assuming. Well, yeah, money. man. So if that's who, if that's who you think it is. That's who it, it is. So I ain't even, you know, what I mean, nah, whatever. Yeah, so it ain't you saying shit, but I'm assuming. So okay, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Because I don't want nobody out there putting no tweets out and no hey, Facebook yeah. posts like Danny got so and so next. If it ain't being like officially announced, then don't say that. Just. Y'all can speculate all y'all want, but whatever. I just know fans definitely gonna be satisfied with you know with the the uh, battle. Oh, this shit right here if is you, gonna be crazy. If you look bro. at the boy, but, but I'm but I'm not I'm not worried about them niggas right now. I got yeah, I got to take the, care of this this, this cake this cake like this cake like right. That's what I'm saying. Like it wouldn't even matter if I. But see, this is what I'm saying. I'm bro. When a, when a nigga know. A nigga know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when when you just know what's gonna happen, what you gonna do to a nigga? It's like I'm not worried about nothing. I done been in front of killers, man. Like like West Coast Dread is a killer. He don't got that many battles, but Dread is a killer. Niggas might not want to put stock into that battle, but that was a killer I was in front of. B Dot was a killer. Steams ain't like them niggas, man. Y'all can't put Steams in the same ring with B-Dot. You, you like real shit, man. You telling me if B-Dot get it in the ring with Steams, you telling me Steams going to 3-0 B-Dot? Or, 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 he's, or he's even going to make it to where it's debatable? No. Steams would die fucking with B-Dot. This is what I'm saying. I, 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 I go through wars like that. And then I, I, I get disrespected by niggas sit, doubting me on Steams. And it's not to say, like, I'm over cocky, overconfident, or I'm, like, downplaying Steams. I'm sleeping on Steams. And, oh, see, Danny, that's why you're going to get killed, because you're sleeping. Like, no, you've never seen me sleep on nobody. Y'all, y'all niggas seen me kill niggas over the phone. I'm the, fo- I'm the yeah. nigga, you feel me? I take phone battle series. You see what I did to Clips and Newborn on your phone? Yeah, like, that's like that's I, I go hard on the phone, my nigga. So you, you think I'm not finna go? I, I know what I'm up against. I'm. This is my return to New York on URL in his borough, in Steam's borough, with his crowd, with his niggas, and it's just me coming by myself. It's just me versus the whole, all of them situations. So it's, it's, I don't have the luxury to sleep on that. Otherwise, I would die in that ring. And should. I should die if I was asleep. But I don't sleep. <laughs> you feel me? That's the problem. Niggas could beat me easily if I didn't care, if I didn't take it serious. Yo, man, this shit about to be crazy right here, man. Because, because Danny, all right, you know what? I got I to gotta ask a question, Danny. Do you feel like chess... Briz and T Top stock is higher than yours or past yours? Uh, yeah, I, just due to, I mean, yeah, because I mean they they've been on those big stages, they've been consistently on URL. Now, now when we talk about stock and we talk about skill, mm. you know, I, I I I care more about the skill shit of this. Now, okay. if you say are oh, them niggas better than me, now that's where we have an argument. If you say their stock is higher, I'll I'll agree to that. Yeah, they stock higher, but uh, can they fuck with me? No. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so Briz can't fuck with you? At all. I mean, I'll tell you what, though. I mean, 
me and Brent's been talking about this for, for like four years. You understand? Yo, like, like, so I fire. know. Uh, and? <laughs> that don't apply to me. <laughs> that don't apply to me. <laughs> what the fuck? You on fire to them niggas. Yeah. It's different when you stand in front of me. I'm an animal. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I like that. I like I like for you to be on fire. Now I just make it fun for me. What about T-Top? I mean, me and T-Top are actually, like, cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm not interested in that way. We we both we both spoke, like, you know, when he kind of kicked it with me in Vegas. He, you know, we talking about it. We playing around like we were going to do it, but... I'm not interested. I, like, I, I, I see him as like a homie, but if he wants to smoke, he could die too. He could die. Yeah, but it's not gonna be. Yeah, I feel, but y'all are cool, so. It's not even about that. It's just not, like it's kind of like a style clash that I'm not interested in. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like what can what could we talk about to each other? Cause we, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like if he talk about that that street that street lifestyle, I can talk that with him. But then when I get into this bar game shit, he can't go there with me. You know what I'm saying? True. When I switch gears on him, then what? Now what he going to do? Try to, you know, if he try to go out of out of his character and he try to go out of it, then that's when he's going to fall short. But I'm, I'm not interested in that, in that battle. All right. Chess, so, he, we go hard. Oh, man. He go, he's going to die with beans on Saturday. You understand what I'm saying? Like he's dying oh, with wow. me. Wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> what, what, so that's our. You, you know what I'm saying? My I wouldn't. I wouldn't even know. want a. I wouldn't even want a standalone battle with him anyway. I. I I'm not interested in, in battling him, man. Hey, yo, my, whole thing my son is his age. My whole thing is you don't want New Jersey twerk and 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 and. Jack Boy, mainly these niggas stock being passed yours to the point that niggas want to see them more than you. That's my whole point. I, I, at this point, I want people to see them more than me. Niggas done seen me for five years. Let them let them niggas do five years of class. That's when we can talk Man, about them niggas. Stop playing, bro. I mean, you, you, sound, you sound like you don't care about battle rap anymore. Stop playing. No, no, I do. What I'm saying is um, those guys need looks. They need shots. They need... They need to, I mean, I like Jack Bowie, man, and I like Twerk. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I want to see them come up. You know what I mean? Okay. I wouldn't care if somebody said they was they stock was higher than mine. These these are younger guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it, my motivation ain't about me being more popular than the next nigga. Like, I don't care about that. It's I I'll I'll start caring when niggas start saying them niggas is better than me or something. As long as niggas know where they at in the standings of when it comes to skill, as long as everybody know they under me, then we good. Oh, you more popular? Oh, that's cool. You get more views? That's cool. People like you more? That's cool. You can have all that. But when y'all start talking, this so-and-so is better than me, that's where we have a problem because no one's better than me. Fuck it. Hey, Danny, that's hey, that's Danny. how I feel. Hey, Danny, what the fuck are we doing with Mickey Fast, Steve? Are y'all going to battle? They're not going to battle? What, what are we doing? It's going to have to happen. It's going to have to happen, man. I feel like with all the back and forth with me and him over the years, yeah. um, it's like inevitable. You know what I'm saying? Like certain matchups I I, I want. You know what I'm saying? Like Mickey Fax. I, I want that one to be outside on the street corner, though. I don't even want that to be on no league, per se. I want that to be as raw as it can get. Cause mm. he claim he from that era. I know he is, and I'm from we from that old school time. We from older niggas, so I, I'll take Mickey Facts on the street. Uh, a random fan can film it and throw it up on his YouTube channel and get all the views. I don't give a fuck. Like I just I kill that nigga. Other matchups I'm interested in is let's say I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe disaster. Me and me and disaster. Uh, me and ill Mac. Uh. Tough challenges. Tay Rock act like he's running. He, he said he was in L.A. and he would come only only if he could bring his whole cave gang. So we was trying to uh, work out the logistics of that as far as matchups, like a East versus West card. Yeah, a cave gang mm-hmm. versus versus the West. Yeah, cave versus the mm-hmm. West. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? But it's like 
the poly, there's politics with, with that, you know, because it would it would have to be me, Nitty, B Dot, Daylight, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a Gucci Gotti. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, Stewie Stewie Newton. Newton. Sometimes they just know it doesn't, bro. They could be the Soros. They could be Ill Man. They could be Tina. Nah, be... nah. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> what? So you telling me, for, Cash, I mean, honestly, Cash. nah, bro, let me tell you. I'm going to tell you why. Nobody would even care to see them versus street guys. Cave Gang is a bunch of street niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's not no knock on the source because he's a legend. He paid away for, you know, everybody else on the West. But nobody really interested. And and actually, the source probably could beat some of them niggas over there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Pass, he he already lost the bridge. So? He, he lost the bridge. So why? I mean, he lost in a convincing fashion. He's not... not I don't know if he would be able to, to, to put up that type of fight with them. If I'm going to put my team together, I'm going to handpick my team of killers. Listen, bro, if, yo, if Paz can't come back and come back in a fighting battle versus YK, who else is in Cave Gang? It's Tay Rock, Ash, Briz, YK. Ryder. Yeah, it's five I'm niggas. Gonna get, I'm going to go give Paz Ryder. Yeah, I mean, and, and, uh, he probably could on, beat Ryder. You know what I'm saying? He could beat Ryder, man. But I'm just saying, on, I, I wouldn't yeah, handpick you know him right, right now. On. On my... You know what? You kind of right. Geechee got to get Ryder. And Geechee yeah, will okay, smoke yeah. Ryder. That'd be, that'd I ain't going to say he'll bad. smoke him. But but listen, hold on. I'm going to take that back. He, he wouldn't smoke Ryder, but he I, I got confidence Ge- Geechee could beat him. Geechee is a that'd real, real good. street oh. nigga for real. Hold on, how the hell we gonna say the West? But but how the hell we gonna say the West and not say Diz? Yeah, we could we could put Diz in there. We could put Diz in there. Yeah, definitely we could put Diz. And, and like I said, hey, it was hey, probably hey. after they like Liddy B dot. Man, I'm trying to see Chuck Jazz in that car, bro. but but there's just but too Chuck... many obstacles in the way of that. Mm-hmm. Okay. That that wouldn't Boy. work. If y'all had if y'all had it at the bunker, that would be crazy. Hey man, we gon' we gonna try to make something happen. But I, like I said, I'm just really you know certain certain niggas I'm interested in. They already know who they are. I done called these niggas out, so I ain't gonna keep calling. I'm not gonna keep calling and keep begging and like no, I don't do that. I, I said what it was, and and you you want the smoke or not? Fuck all the well, we gotta see if. If it's, 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 it's no, because when a nigga call me out, it's like, what's happening? I don't never say, oh, well, let me see if your views and my views and if I can benefit off of this. Uh, let me call Beasley and let me call Smack. Let me see if I get this approved and let me see if fans are interested in it. I don't do none of that. Mm. Nigga call me out, it's like, nigga, strap up, strap up. Get your boots on. Pack the lunch. Meet it. me there. Meet me there a half hour early. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit. Mm. I don't, I'm just that man. I'm I'm not with the extra shit. So when I hey, yo, Danny, oh, there's so many motherfuckers you could be battling. You could be battling DNA. You could be battling K Shine. I, well, I, I me and DNA probably inevitable. That probably has to happen. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, K Shine, he probably a little too emotional, man. And that, I, I don't, I see that ending in a fight. You feel me? Like you know, like mm. I'll, I'll be barking on him. I might be too close on him. I might, you know, what I'm saying, make him feel a certain way if I say something a certain way, and he might want to, you know. So I'm not with all that shit. So I wouldn't okay. even want to do that battle because I know how I would be mm. in that battle. Yeah, versus K. Sean, yeah. I, yeah, because he's a live wire. You know, it's like, why even... And, you know, I, I definitely invoke some shit. I, I be saying some foul shit that niggas might want to swing on me on. You feel me? <laughs> and I ain't going to hold my tongue. But Tay Rock is a, is a live wire, too. Hey, man. But look, he, he's been more consistent than K. Sean over the years. If you, if you go back five years from, from, from... Let's just go from 2013 when I first got on the scene. From there to here, like me and Tay Rock been 
two of the me tell you, I would say DNA who else? J C the writers block team. They the most consistent as far as output of good battles and no bullshit. No choking, no no complaining, no quitting in the middle of the battle type of shit. So why not put the two most consistent niggas over the last five years versus each other? I mean, that just makes sense. True. And see who come out on top. So that's why I'm saying, like, me and DNA finally don't have to go down. I, plus, when I think about it, I never battled nobody from NWX, ever. Mm. And I've been said I wanted to take them niggas mm. down. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and Big T... Uh, who else? Uh, Saga, uh, DNA, like them we three. See, we don't want to see the Saga battle. We don't want to see the Saga battle, bro. I'm being honest. Yeah, I, I was sending. I was sending him. I would definitely send him. <laughs> uh, I was sending him. I would send K Shine. Uh, DNA could make it a fight, but he he would lose too. He would definitely would lose. Hey Denny. Hey, hey Denny. You see the uh the, the uh UW the UW card the UW event. No, I just was getting kept on the recaps. I had I haven't seen none of the battles yet. Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I was going to ask you who won, Danny, uh, DNA or Pat Stay? I, I don't know. I'm hearing Pat Stay. I, that's what people be telling me. People tell me Sharon B, Tay Rock. A lot of people called me and said that. So I'm, I'm not surprised. That's Sharon, rounds one and three, yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah, Sharon is one of the better battle battle rappers on the earth. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I, I don't think he gets the props he deserves. And maybe race has something to do with it. Maybe he just black people I'm, don't. True, but, I mean, all right. Is there, is that's there a part of it. Race, and the, is there a chance that a lot, of his, a lot of his success is because of his race, too? No. No, none of it, none of none of that has nothing to do with his race. No, I I don't think it's the uh, the like. Would you say that about Big K? You feel me? I I wouldn't say. I think maybe the first few times you've seen Big K is like, oh shit, this is a white boy rapping like this, or Glue Easy, or some shit like that, or or you know what I mean. But it's like after a while, you know that's just who they are. That's what they do, and yeah. you expect that it every time. Nice, so it, I, it can't. Surround and had oh what ninety some battles. You can't still be saying it's because of he's white. <laughs> you know it's yeah, 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 that's has true. to be he's just skilled, and that's why I said he's one of the more better battlers on the earth, and he just don't get the proper respect. Same thing like okay. Serious Gums. I be seeing niggas shit on him all the time. Like he ain't like he like they act like he be losing. It's like he's winning battles and no one cares. He beat us 3 0. Nobody said nothing about it. Why? Partially because it was on the Fab card and no one cared about the card. But, I mean, a battle is still a battle because if us had 3 0 Serious Jones, then you would hear a whole bunch of hoopla about it. So? But because Serious beat him, niggas swept it under the rug. Niggas be shitting on Siri, but he don't lose. I, he might be, I mean, in a grand scheme of things, over the body of work, he might be over Mook. You could argue. You could argue he's over Mook. And I, I got Rex and Siri Jones over Mook, actually. <clears throat> you got Rex and Siri Jones over Mook? Yeah, because, like I said, man, Mook ain't traveled, man. Mook ain't came to no hostile environment. Mook ain't came to St. Louis or, or L.A. Rex, Rex, Rex they, hit the road, man, and be and he put him, he put himself in in dangerous situations and, and come and still put on. So I got Rex over Mook overall in, in the grand scheme of shit. But they said, right. but you got to remember, Dan, when Bizarre came on, he said he said Mook ran through Detroit, bro. He said he said he ran through Detroit, and that wasn't no easy. I mean, back and a million four, niggas five, and a million niggas say they. Okay, and a million niggas said they I mean, never lost a third party, You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's what that's I'm saying. Like thing. a million niggas say they never lost on Fight Club, so we we not counting that. That don't count. So if we can do that right now. Mm, okay. All right. So mm. everything that happened off camp don't count because we didn't see it. We can't count it. I battle Pat Poose. I, 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 I listen, listen, listen. I battle Pat Poose in in Williamsburg Projects. 
in 2000. That was 17 years ago. Beat the nigga. Uh, Lady Luck. Battle her in Times Square. Beat her. Oh. And, and, uh, who else? Drag on. And and D and Y was there. D and Y was there when I battled Drag on. They the ones that came and got me, and I killed Drag on. But we can't. I don't count none of this shit. I beat game. I beat game. Come on, like these. I'm talking about these is industry niggas that I've been running through. What you said this now? No, I said I beat game. Drag on. Papoose. Lady what Luck, okay, but wait, none wait, of the, wait, wait, the, the, wait, the rapper, L.A. Game, L.A. Game, his manager you, you at battled, the time. You battled Game? Yes. Ask him. When? Yeah, bro. That was, that was oh, six. Oh, six. Big Chuck. Big game. Chuck can confirm me. Yeah, Big Chuck. If anybody know Big Chuck from the drama family, he's the one that set it up. And if y'all want to confirm that, he, you can go to Big Chuck, and he's the one that set it up. Game, actually, what he did was he spit one of his – he, he spit one of the verses off of uh, his uh, doctor's, what's it, what's it called, doctor's advocate? Yeah, so the before advocate, that yeah. album dropped, before that album dropped, the, one of the verses where he said, uh, knock the nigga, take the money out of his tool sock. He spit that. That's what he spit to me. But it wasn't out yet. So I didn't I didn't know that that was like a, a album verse he was spitting. What the but I, I had like all original shit and uh but yeah, but look, we don't. I don't ever go around and, and and be counting these though. That's why I be telling niggas like my 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 battle history go way past, way before what niggas even know. Like my shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I lived in Brooklyn. I stayed in Williamsburg. That was back in 2000. That was 17 years. Ago. I was battling niggas in Brooklyn before Stains was battling niggas in Brooklyn. You understand? Wow. This is why I'm saying it's like that. All that. Oh, Danny, don't New York don't fuck with Danny. Like y'all just don't understand. Y'all don't know this shit is like. Mm. It's like a home game for me. That's why I said that shit in my trailer. Like it's like me just coming home. Me coming to Brooklyn. You feel me? Like it's just a home game. It's another home game for me. I don't care about none of that. We go our shit. Yo, my nigga, that nigga said he battled game. I'm like in shock. Like, what? How, <laughs> game, how, 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 uh, how, how, how the game come about? Big Chuck. Big Chuck, he was uh, managing me at the time. And he, you know, he was like, yo, I could uh, hit game up and I want y'all niggas to like go back and forth right now. I want to see what's up. And uh, he called. Hey, it actually was over the phone. It was a phone battle. It was a phone battle. You can confirm me with game. Okay, if you okay. want And uh, ask game. And uh, you know, so ask Big Chuck because I know he'll he'll tell the truth. Shit. But uh, let me see. I battled Lady Luck. It was more of a cipher, but she came at me though. It was me, Shells, SAS from the Dipset. Mega Man and Mayhem. Just said in London. From yeah, London? Mega. It was yeah. It was Mega Man and Mayhem. The two brothers from London. It was yeah. Dell, me, Lady Luck, and we was in front of the uh, the Virgin Mega Store, and we was just all ciphering. But then she just stopped the cipher and just came at me, like on some nigga. Like who was you? I'm I'm signed to Def Jam because she had she had a, a white a Cadillac. She had a, a Cadillac truck parked like right there on the street. She was flossing on us. We was all, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was like, damn, this bitch is really stunting on us right now. She's talking about her Dev Jam contract, and I got a contract. Who is this nigga? Get out of my face. So I flamed her. I flamed her real quick, and she and she immediately turned around and started back rapping towards, like, the, the rest of them niggas. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Uh, drag on. Drag on. He said. After I after I flamed him, he told D and Y said, "Hey, y'all need to sign this nigga." He wasn't. He was like the only New York nigga that that kept it real when wasn't no hate. He was like, "Yo, sign this nigga." He's like, "Yeah, he just fucked me up. Sign this nigga." Damn. This was in two thousand, bro. Like this was seventeen years ago. But I've been battling for a long time. A long time. And that's this the same shit like what y'all talking about? Stop mm-hmm. it. <laughs> I done been in front of killers, man. Killers. All right, just making sure you're waiting for this shit, man. 
I mm. stay ready, man. I'm definitely uh, I'm gonna do some legendary shit, man. I'm not. It's not even about. It's not even about me going and spinning some dope bars. It's not even about that. It's not even about that, man. I'm on some like. Let me leave the game a gem. Let me leave a jewel. Let me let me do something new that y'all niggas ain't never did before. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck. Fuck spitting bars. Like, okay, well, everybody got bars now, right? Everybody got bars. And it's fucked up that the, the lyrical niggas get shitted on. Me and JC, Chilla, you know what I'm saying? We get shitted on. But we can't, like, this is a sport where you're supposed to be lyrical, but now it's like, oh, but it ain't just about bars no more. You got to understand that, Danny. You got to have more than that. You got to have performance and crowd control and this and that and this and that, but y'all are getting away. See, y'all turning this shit to to little little Yachty now and little Uzi right now. You understand? Like hey, so, it, it, this so, was the this was the last place where fans could come and get guaranteed true bars and lyricism. Because if you turn on the radio, you're getting what you're being force fed and industry controlled and executive controlled music. Battle rap is the where well, we supposed to be the rawest, but now we turn this into the industry. The art of lyricism is dead. It'll be a, it'll be a lost art. Like twenty twenty years from now, niggas will be saying, "Yo, there was a such thing called lyricism," and and they'll be teaching their kids. They'll they'll have to show their kids in a book or YouTube videos what lyricism was, or have to dig up some old Nas CDs to show what lyricism was, because we're getting out of that and it's turning into another entirely separate jo- genre. It's not, I wouldn't even call what I'm hearing nowadays hip-hop. I wouldn't call it that. It's a, it's, they call it mumble rap or whatever fuck they want to call it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now they battle rap is getting like that. Like, fuck them bars, so, nigga. If you want to be popular, so you want to be on Summer Madness, sacrifice them yeah. bars, nigga. Fuck them bars. Yeah, Niggas go up here and do a thing in a man. jump kick. Let me, <laughs> let me ask you this, man. You remember you remember when uh, Chilla battled um, Prep, right? You remember yeah. that battle? Okay. I was going to compare it to something. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to compare it to something right quick. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. I'm going to compare it to something right quick. If you remember when Hove back in the day was with Zazzo and Big Daddy King, you know, and they was, you know, he was just coming up. Remember how he used to rap, like, super fast? And if you go down and you can listen right, to what he was saying, you know what I'm saying, he was saying some dope material. He was saying dope stuff, but, you know, he was kind of a clone of what Jazzo was doing a little bit, and he was rapping so fast. Somebody had told him, hey, man, right. you're saying some nice stuff. I need you to slow it down a little bit so people can understand you. Once he did that, and, you know, then he dropped the classic, and then, it, you know, then he's been, you know, leading the pack ever since. When you watch that Chilla battle, That's a fact. Chilla, you know, used to do a whole bunch of over-complicated things, put people to sleep. He dumbed it down a hair. He turned it down a hair. It had a great performance. Body prep, you know, killed him. If you, you haven't seen the, um, the High Stakes 2 card yet, but he turned it down, the extra scheming and all that a little bit, was a little more aggressive. He dumbed it down a little bit, and I think he got a clear 2-1 win, and people was really fucking with Chilla, to be honest more so than anything else. Do you think that you would have to, do you think at any point that you've, um, or did, is there any minor adjustment, you know what I'm saying, that you need to make to make that full transition? Or is it just, this is me and this is what I'm going to keep rocking? Yeah, like, it'll, you, it'll, it'll it, definitely, definitely. I get what you're saying. Yeah, definitely. It'll be shown Saturday. That's why I said people are going to see a Danny they haven't seen before. I'm going to tell you something. Okay. What? I'm gonna tell you something. I learned a lot, like from one battle. One battle. If you can, if you can lose but still learn from it, you'll be great. And I use myself as, as an example. My first PG was J Real, and I had some super yeah. complicated shit. And I was rapping super fast, and I was just super eager. And J Real was really just deliberate, slow flow, funny, just doing all kind of different things. And he and he beat me. And I lost mm-hmm. my first PG battle. And I and I learned from it. I said, damn, okay. They I can't be super, super lyrical and be rapping like Razzcaz and shit up here. 
It's not this not gonna work on this smack stage. So my very next PG, I dumbed it down but still kept it lyrical with Mark Minor and you seen a whole different Danny from the J Rail battle to the Mark Minor and it was just a one battle difference. It didn't take me no five, six, seven, eight, ten battles to figure it out. It just took me one battle to see. And I learned from that J Rail loss. And that was the best thing that listen, I just told I was telling my wife the other day, I said that was the best thing that ever happened to me was losing that battle. Because if I had won, then I would continue rapping like that. Mm. And I would have not got better. I so had to you, lose you, in order for me to what, learn. What did you learn out of this, um, out of your lap, out of the YK battle? What, what takeaway did you have out of that battle? You know what? Uh, definitely, um, it was just people, you know, my passion was just too... I was just too much, man. It was like, but I couldn't control that at that time because <laughs> me and him was talking back and forth, talking. It was so much shit. Me and him was talking over the years. It was like, nigga, I'm talking my shit on this stage. <laughs> but I needed, I, I learned from that. So that's why mm-hmm. you're going to see a whole different, calm, slow, deliberate Danny on Saturday. Because right, so. cause, cause, cause it'll take away niggas be like, oh, Danny just hypes himself. He gasses his bars way too right, much. Be, all right, yeah, but Danny, man, you don't want to just fuck your whole shit up. Nah, it, no, trust me. It, it's a, it's a, it's a, I'm not going to say it's like a, a 180, but it's a, it's a definite improvement. Feel me? If that's the best way I can say it. Like, I'm going to still be me, but just not so much where it's, where niggas can say I'm gassing myself or I'm hyper, like, ain't ain't gonna be I mean, But all niggas is talking about is when you, like, grab niggas and be like, yo, wake up and shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, shit like that. Like, I don't think you should just change your style. Because I don't know about you and Calm, I don't know if that's gonna work. Nah, it, it, you gotta understand, it, this is a, a very surgical, this is gonna be a very surgical dissection of this man. Cause I won't, I won't, I want these motherfuckers to hear each and every word that I'm saying. Cause every single line is some shit. Every single line is something. And if you're not listening, you might miss some shit. Especially my first round. Like my first round is more like, I, I, I'm gonna show this nigga what pin game is, and and what being um, direct is. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause, cause there's ways niggas could take away a battle from you. They could be like, Danny was dope, but he wasn't direct. That shit didn't apply to Steens. Steens was more direct and to the point. So that's why Steens won. Nah, see, nah, I'm going to show niggas how to blend being lyrical and direct. You know what I'm saying? It's an art to this. This is art. My second round, I'm dumbing the fuck out on him with the bars. My third round... I'm going to do some shit niggas never did in battle rap. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm saying, I'm, I'm trying to leave, like, a legendary three rounds on that stage. Shit. Okay. Man, Smack got to get pay-per-view going, man. I want to see this. I want to see this live. <laughs> <laughs> Smack got to get pay-per-view, man. Man, yeah, I, I I definitely got Like, I don't know what he coming with. I have no idea. And personally, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what he say. He can say all all this. I'm from Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Whatever <laughs> you want to say. You can get into the personals. You can get to your Dragon Ball shit. You can get into the Rex 12K. I don't care. Say what you got to say. I'm glad to hear it. Entertain me while I'm not rapping. That's what your purpose is. That's what your three rounds is. Your three rounds is to entertain me while I'm not rapping. <laughs> Cause when it's my turn again, it's back. It's back to killing you. Just entertain me while I'm killing you. That's that's what that's what his three rounds is for. Just inter- say some shit that I that I want to hear. That 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 that'll be dope to me. Man, this shit about to be fucking crazy, man. That's what business shit, man. Shit, I ain't mad at that shit. <laughs> Yo, Jenny, man. Hey, 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 man. Hey, good luck, good luck in your battle and shit. I'm gonna get you back up here after the battle and shit. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. Shout yeah, out to y'all. Shout out to DMV. As soon as that shit is over, I'm going to hit you to see what's going on and shit. 
Oh yeah, for sure. You you you. Hey, just look. Just stay close to your Twitter updates. <laughs> that's, that's all I can tell you. <laughs> all right. Like, hopefully these niggas on Twitter are gonna be able to keep up with the amount of bars that's coming because they're gonna be trying to tweet and you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this nigga Danny just said this. Oh, hold on, he just said this. Oh wait, 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 he just said this. And then they're gonna keep coming. So, y'all Twitter finger niggas, get your Twitter shit ready. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Try to keep that's what up. it is. Yo, I, that's what I'm talking about. It's definitely going down. Danny and Stan. Yo, yo, man. Yo, 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 man. Yo, fuck what you want. You fan double seven, nigga, man. Shout out to you, fan movement, nigga. What up, nigga? You good?